What's up, mortgage coach community? I just did that clap because a few people, well, one, because I always do it <laughs> unconsciously. And uh, I got a little, little slack for my team today, so <laughs> I'm still clapping. Anyways, so hey, Jason Frazier is my guest on today's interview. What's what's up, Jason? What's going? Hey, man, I'm 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 excited. I've been having a couple uh, great good days. I'm energized to talk about Facebook marketing. Yeah, right. So so Jason um, is the founder and runs a company called the Agent Marketer. He has also been you know head of marketing for you know a large independent mortgage banking company. He mentors and coaches. Uh, top performing mortgage professionals, executives, realtors. Um, and he's just one of the go-to people that when I want to learn about Facebook or Facebook marketing or social marketing, he's one of my, one of my guys. So, so, so Jason, I, I saw this video. Um, I think it was last week or maybe it was this week. It was called the single best thing you could do for your brand in 2019 by Ryan Hill yeah. uh, in the RE source TV. Mm -hmm. You saw that, right? Yep. Yep. So, you know, I, I've been on this focus with the mortgage coach community that, hey, like, if you want to win really today on, you know, it's not just 2019, like the people that are killing today, they're, they're advisors yep. and they're building personal brand. You know, yep. those are like, you know, two key themes around the successful top producers going forward. And and it seemed to me like, you know, he was pretty much making the case that everybody should be doing not just Facebook marketing, but Facebook advertising. Yeah. Um, you know, what, what are your thoughts on that? You know, what, do you agree with that? And any leadership you want to bring to the community around that topic? Yeah. And, and so I remember the video, but it's funny is because I had actually, because uh, I watched Gary, as you know, I'm a big Gary Vee guy. So I watched that uh, keynote that he had, listened to it on his podcast as well. And that actually, got, that, that's where I heard for, about Wish for the first time when he was, when Gary Vee was talking about that and, and, and hearing that amount of revenue per year to two to three billion. And all they're doing is 99% Facebook advertising. And, and the one thing that people need to understand is that it, Facebook right now is so undervalued in regards to advertising. The amount of people you could reach with your voice with your face, with videos, with ads, with anything is so cheap to do, but it's always not going to be that case. You still have time to get on, to, to get on and do that stuff. You know, if you're not on Facebook, you know what it, you guys need to see that that's where people are. And, and I, I see too many people to, especially loan officers get romantic about the way they used to do business. I'm not comfortable with social media. I don't like it. Or, you know, there's a ton of things I don't like about social media. I personally dislike Instagram quite a bit, but I'm on it because I know that's where my audience is. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. And then, you know, in fact, you know, talking about mortgage coach, uh, Dave and your group, uh, I, uh, one of the loan officers had posted about uh, something about Keller Williams and Keller mortgage. And that's where I said, look, this is, this is the time right now as loan officers to use platforms like Facebook. So you're the one that's found first. You're the one putting out your blog content. You're the one putting out your podcast, your flash briefing, Facebook live videos, everything that you guys, you guys have the world at your, just right there at your fingertips, especially with Facebook to reach anybody and everyone. And you, it is just, it, there has never been a time ever where you've had such an opportunity to reach so many customers or potential customers just by using a, a social media channel or any type of website. It's, it's there for the taking. And so I couldn't agree with that video more. If you're not using Facebook advertising, if you're not at least spending one to $2 a day on Facebook advertising, you, you are just missing out. And then eventually that one to $2 a day that you could spend. And I have, I have, I have loan officers in my group that has spent $6 and 50 cents to reach 2,500 people in a week. Like, are you telling me that you can't spend $7 and 50 cents to get your, your voice and your face in front of 2,500 people to build awareness of your brand? I mean, you're kidding me. Eventually that seven or that $6 and 50 cents is going to be $6 or $60 and 50 cents. Once everyone understands that that is where you need to go to advertise. So, so three things. <laughs> one, aren't you speaking at Agent 2021? So you're I am. one of the, so those who don't know, you know, Gary V, Gary Vandercheck, you know, I mean, he is the top leader in, in social marketing and you were honored with that. What are you, what are you going to be talking about, by the way? I'm actually going to be talking about building trust and authority through content marketing. So exactly what, you know, that video is, is talking about. 
because Gary understands Agent 2021 is going to be eventually the premier marketing uh, conference in our industry just because it doesn't care about how we came up in this industry. It cares about, it cares about the here and now. I love that. I love that. So also, so I'm gonna put, by the way, I'm going to put a link down below to the last interview I did with you where you and I did a whole rant on you don't have as much time as you think. Yeah. Great leadership. I think, you know, I was inspired by some video that you did. We created that interview together. Link mm -hmm. down below. Check it out. Um, link down below to the interview that we're talking about by Ryan Hills. Uh, fantastic leadership by Ryan. So for, for folks that are watching this that like don't even know the difference between, um, you know, organic Facebook marketing and paid, I mean, just give us a minute on, you know, what's the difference? Yeah, so organic is when you post something on, on well, mostly your business page is when you get into the paid organic, but just when you post something on the internet, or sorry, on Facebook, and if you get a lot of shares, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, if it's on your business page, you get a lot of shares, a lot of comments, a lot of likes, that's called organic reach. You're not paying for that. Your audience has responded, they like the content, they share it, they like it, they comment, you engage back. That tells Facebook that people like it, so it shows it to more people. That's organic reach. Now, over the last few years, especially this last, I would say 18 months, Facebook has really turned the business side of it, the business pages, into a paid to play um, category. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And for people that have built an organic you know, reach and audience and community off your business Facebook page, look, you did that for free. So I don't know why you're complaining. Like you have to spend money to continue on it. And honestly, I believe that has saved the platform from becoming another Twitter where everything's loud and noisy and it's hard to get seen. But when we take, look, forget all of that, it's still only, it's only a freaking dollar or $2 a day to reach a lot of people. So that's the difference is, is paid advertising is that you're paying someone to, to you know, you're, you're paying Facebook so they could see your post, watch your video, whatever, as opposed to organic. Now, the cool thing, is that if you do your Facebook advertising right, Facebook at its core wants to show people content that's relevant to them, whether it's paid or organic, because if they don't, they lose users. And if Facebook lose users, that means they use advertising revenue. And that's how Facebook stays afloat, is their advertising revenue, right? They're the biggest ad, ad platform in the entire world, and that's for a reason. So they want good content. So if you do something paid, right, and people respond to it, and they like it and they share it and they engage with it, Facebook will show even paid stuff. Even if you're doing a dollar a day, you may get $20 a day of engagement because Facebook wants to show it to people because people are responding to it. Same with organic stuff. I, and people will say organic reaches dead on the face on Facebook page, on your business page. And for, and it's hard, it's not dead, but it's very difficult to do. But I have done organic uh, posts on my, my business Facebook page that's reached 13,000 people. That's had 71 shares. It's been shared in groups and stuff. And I have people coming up to me saying, hey, I saw that post and this and that. People that I don't even know. And so it just, at the end of the day, Facebook wants good content. Love it. So for anyone, you know, we're not doing a complete how-to here. I wanted to create some awareness around Ryan's video. I do think it's great leadership. I want yeah. folks in the mortgage coach community to be advisors, use the total cost analysis with every family that you serve. And I want you to build personal brands. You know, I think that, and, and by the way, this is just one arrow in the quiver. If we were playing golf, you know, it's a club, yeah. you know, it's not everything, you know, you need a lot of different clubs to win. But I do believe having a strategy around Facebook, having a strategy around LinkedIn, I personally love Instagram. You know, I was like, when that thing first came out, I was jealous, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Because I was a you know photography yeah. minor in college and I love that stuff, but but you've got to be tuned into the in, into this and you need to build personal brands. So I have done a number of interviews on social media, mm -hmm. on Facebook marketing. I'm going to put a link down below because there's a few playlists in our channel to self educate around it. But what are what are some other resources for people that just want to get smart on Facebook advertising? Feel free to give yourself a plug because I know that's one of the things that you teach. But what are, you know, like if you were talking to, um, I don't know, a family member who's getting in the mortgage space, they're saying, yeah. hey, what should I do? What are some of the free resources? And then what are the premium ways that they can get smart and implement? 
Got you. So I'll even mention one of the guests you've already had, and that's Mari Smith. Um, when I was first starting out in social media marketing, she was one of the, the speakers that I saw at Social Media Marketing World. Um, I, I bought one of her courses that where she talked about Facebook. She's got a ton of free content out there. Look, guys, I'm going to tell you, right? Like I, I run a, a group that people pay so I could help coach them on marketing and stuff like that. But guess what I learned? A majority of the stuff I did was by doing and by looking at YouTube, free resources. That's the thing is that a lot of the stuff that people, and just like with anything, is out there for free. If you wanna take the time and, and YouTube and blogs and stuff like that, a lot of people give, in fact, even in the mortgage coach group, I know there's other, some other Facebook uh, um, uh, marketers out there that have, have, have talked about things that they do. Look, and I've seen it, and I know they have courses and they pay for, but some of their advice, like literally in the, in the comments, if you execute on what they said, you can grow your business. So there's a lot of free stuff out there. YouTube to me is, is the best training ground you could get for finding uh, free stuff. Now, again, a lot of it is just surface level so that you can understand, but however, sometimes that surface level gets you to think and then you start practicing and then you find your own way without having to buy anything else. Right. And so there's a ton of free resources out there in regards to blogging podcasts are huge. Right. So there, you know, you could find anything. Mari Smith, again, I'll mention her again because literally she was my, a mentor from afar, so to speak, when I was first getting in the Facebook push, because she understood the psychology of the consumer and how that relates to how you craft like the size of a video, right? Or transcribing text or something else, right? Like that is where I learned uh, quite a bit. Go to conferences. And I mean, that obviously, you know, uh, spent talk, uh, you know, cost money, but you can learn quite a bit. The one guy that I will mention that's where I get my dollar a day strategy that I teach in the age of marketer. And, you, and, and again, that's not like something paywalled or anything like that. Google the dollar a day strategy by Dennis Yu. And that's Dennis Y U do that. He is a master marketer. He's worked with big brands like the golden state warriors, Nike, Adobe, you know, they, they spoke at uh, you know, create wow with, uh, with you and I, Dave. Um, so they're master marketers do that dollar a day strategy of building awareness. That's what I have my members doing it absolutely works. So right now do that. Like when you, after you're done watching this video, go Google Dennis Yu, go Google Mari Smith, go look at their YouTube videos and stuff. They will give you free content that you absolutely can use to start doing it. And then and for folks that want to get into your community, um, I know your group is premium, but for mortgage coach community that want to learn from you, um, how would they engage with you? What's the best way? Yeah, so if you go to my website, uh, theagentmarketer.com, uh, you can learn more about our coaching program and stuff that we have, but I also have my social links by there. The reason how I, I, I am doing what I'm doing today is by giving value. Like, you know, like, you know I try in, in Mortgage Coach to answer questions as, as much as I can. And, you know, I, I, am, I came up in, with the Gary V School of Thought, and that's to add as much value as I have. Gary has given away a ton of information that other people would charge for. I have done the same thing. Right. So I'm happy. In fact, I've done that with some members of your group that have reached out to me privately and said, yeah. oh, how could I do that? And I said, this is how you do it. Right. Because I'm not in it. I'm in this just like you, Dave. I, I, I am a, I am passionate about this industry, about making this industry survive and be better and help people that want to be in this business for legacy and lift it up. But I just want to help people be better. And that's it. And that's exactly what you do in the mortgage coach community is, is try to make people better. So I'm in this business for legacy. If you're in it for legacy, I'm happy to help you. If you're just looking for the quick hit and how to just get some money real quick or get some leads real quick, that's not me. But if you're really this want to sit down and have a conversation about it, I'm happy to do that. Love it. So guys, tune in to Jason. If you got value from this, give us a like, share it with your team. And then if you have a question, if you have a question around social marketing, Facebook marketing, I do want to shine a light on the fact that the way when you share a mortgage coach total cost analysis. We have recently upgraded the link. So the shareable image, we're trying to make it more clickable. Uh, so, you know, think of it, whether you're sending it private message, you're sending a family who prefers to be communicated through Facebook, a report, it's going to look better. It's going to look more clickable. And if you're doing a success story, like right now, the seller buy down is a big trending strategy. And you want to just tell that story on Facebook. You know, we're seeing a lot of mortgage coach members where they'll they'll do a Facebook live or they'll do a video and it'll just be them, you know, talking about the idea and they'll go, and I put a link down below. We made it so it looks clickable. By the way, Jason, let me know if you have any suggestions on how we can make the mortgage coach, you know, more socially valuable and more 
you know, engaging. We're always looking for new ideas to make it better. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd love to look at it and see what I got. Anything I could contribute. I'm happy to. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Jason, thanks for your time. Thanks for jumping in here and look forward to our next conversation. But yeah, anytime. And, and just one last thing, you know, I'm in the mortgage coach group. So if you guys, if there is something, a thread or something where you want my input or you ask a question, just, uh, just tag me, just tag me and I'll be happy to answer. Cool. And then remember in the group, you can just go to the search button, type in Facebook, you can type in Jason's name, and you can follow the threads that have been on point. Take care, everybody.